Now, in the decomposition of NO2 to NO and oxygen, we have some rate data for a particular system. Let's write the reaction down, first of all. Not that that gives us any clue as to the rate law. Remember, stoichiometry and rate laws do not follow one another. But that's the overall reaction. 2NO2 gives rise to 2NO plus O2. Now the form of the integrated rate law is quite different for first order and second order reactions. Look back at your lecture notes and check that you're familiar with that. For a first order reaction, the plot that you would make is the natural logarithm of the NO2 concentration against time. For the second order reaction, the plot is of 1 over the NO2 concentration versus time. If one of these plots is linear, that will tell you the order. And so, there is no escape. We have to do both plots and see which is linear. In order to do that, let's put two more columns of data. First, the logarithm of the NO2 concentration to test for first order. And second, 1 over the NO2 concentration to test for second order. Well, the data is as follows. Negative 6.502, negative 6.571, negative 6.777, negative 7.1. Six five, negative seven point three one three. Those are the natural logarithms of the concentrations of NO two at the times given in seconds. By the way, in case you're interested, this is all at three hundred and twenty degrees C. That's not significant for the problem; just a matter of note. One over the NO two. Concentration gives us the numbers 667, 714, 877, 1294, and 1499. Now, I'm going to ask you to plot these numbers. Get a piece of graph paper and plot them out. I'm going to sketch the plots. That's all I'm going to do at this stage. But um, I assure you that I have plotted them with great care and that they generate the conclusion that I'm going to draw. Here is the logarithm of the NO2 concentration ranging from negative 7.3 up to negative 6.5. And here is the time in seconds ranging from 0 to 1600. And if you do that plot, you will see that it follows a gentle but very definite curve. Now let's do the 1 over plot. Same time scale, 0, 1600. Quite a different set of numbers now, from 600 
This is, remember, 1 over NO2, a nice linear plot. Our conclusion then is the reaction is second order. The rate constant K is given by the slope of the line. K equals 1499 minus 667, the units being moles per liter, sorry, liters per mole, because the concentrations are in moles per liter, and this is 1 over the concentration, divided by 1600 minus zero seconds. So the rate constant is 0 0.52 liters per mole second. The rate law is the rate equals this K times NO2 squared. That actually tells us something about how this reaction proceeds. It must proceed through two NO2 molecules colliding together and sticking together for a while in what is called the transition state or the activated complex, and then breaking down to give two NO molecules and an O2 molecule. So do the plot for yourself and confirm to your own satisfaction that only the second order plot gives a satisfactory straight line from these data.